Welcome everybody. Um, we're going to be looking at Frog in a Tree for the bass. I'm going to play it all the way through first, and then I'm going to go back to the beginning and take it apart bit by bit. Frog in a Tree. Back to the beginning there. Uh, the beginning is pretty straightforward. Please follow the bowings that, that are written in there. Um, then at five, you're gonna wanna go back, all the way back to the beginning. Press up bow. Press up bow. Retake, retake. Excuse me. Back to measure one. Press up bow. Press up bow. These are all going to be retaked. Uh, if you look at measure five, six, measure six, above your music, it says S-I-M dot dot dot. That means simile. That means that you're going to use the same bowing that's given at measure five all the way through till like, what's that, 12. And at 13, it's the same thing. This is sim. It stands for simile, which means it's similar. So we're going to do the same thing that's in there. Okay. So five, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, when you begin these notes, you have to be sure your, your bow is in the string. In the string, not on the string. So if it's on the string, it's just going to be sliding around everywhere. So we want it in the string. Mr. L, how do we do that? So you need to pretend that you're hanging your, your, your hand, your arm from your bow, so that if I were to take the bow away, your hand would just drop. Okay? Same thing when your bow is, so instead of holding it on your hand, with your left hand, it's going to be on the string itself, so that your arm is hanging off off of your bow there. Okay, and at measure five, um, you want to set the bow before you play. So set the bow. You're going to feel the grip on the. I don't know if you can see it, uh, but my string is moving. Actually, my whole instrument is moving. Um, so you're going to want to feel the grip on the string before you pull across. That's how you get that nice full sound instead of say it's kind of wispy. That's what you don't want. You need to feel. You need to be in the string. Five. Rest. 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 Rest.
Very similar. So things get tricky at 21. A, fees, fees, fees. For that, for those slurs, um, after 21, 22, 24, G, A, G, G, A, G, F sharp, E. You're going to want to make sure your, your fingers are on the string before your bow gets there. Okay, if you have to set it up beforehand, it's going to feel really weird. Set. So. Set. Okay, again, your fingers are going to need to be there before your bow comes in. So you're going to get that. You don't want that. See? I didn't get it in time. 21. Take it back a little bit. Twenty-seven. So we're, looking, we're gonna look at twenty-seven there. That was a little tr tricky. Why? Because um, we go from A to F sharp and back to open G. If I were you, I would leave my fourth finger down. So you're gonna want to leave your fourth finger down on the D string there. So one, sorry, four. Leave it down. Open. Which is why you need to make sure your fingers are on the right tips, or else you're gonna you're gonna hit you're, you're gonna hit your next string. And you need to and you need to open. Sorry, you need to ring freely. So same place. Again, at the beginning of each note, you need to feel that grip in there. Back to 37 that like 29 um, that's just something you just have to take it home and practice it um, remember to keep your fingers nice and tall and on the tips so you don't accidentally hit the next string and, and you get sounds that you don't want moving on 37 piano piano means soft okay so that means you have to uh, not put as much weight in the string not as much weight in the bow so looking at 37 there nice and soft Notice how I'm playing soft or not. No, not allowed. Keep it nice and soft.
43 is also a great example of having your fingers down on the tips before you get to that string. Especially since you're slurring there. Set. So when you're playing that open G, that's when you want to have your first finger down on the D string. Okay, so you preempt it, so you get there before. Uh, moving up. 40, 45. Again, bow in the string. to the end it's all uh, pretty self-explanatory again like, it, like I've been saying this whole time um, keep your bow in the string you want to feel the pull on the string before playing it I don't know if uh, you might be able to see this or not um, so I'm going to start pulling on the string and by the bow by itself is going to release so the bass is in one place and then I'm going to set the bow pull you can, yeah, you can see that. So on the D string, it's the kind of motion you want. That's the kind of action you want. Every single time, even on an up bow, it's gonna be, it won't grab as much. Say it, you can't really tell, but. Okay, you still want that nice, it's almost like a bite, it's like an attack. Uh, that's the last four measures. Okay, let's try it out. Press, 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 bite. string before you play. Uh, that was Frog in a Tree for the bass. I uh, hope it helps. I'll uh, see you in rehearsal.